Hi, today we are going to learn about series and parallel circuits in AC. First, let's examine what AC really refers to. AC refers to alternating current. It can be expressed by the formula below with the voltage or current changing as a function of time. D refers to the DC offset, A the amplitude, F the frequency and theta is the phase. The diagram is a way of visually representing this formula. It shows that the wave follows a sinusoidal curve with both a positive and negative maximum. Series circuits refer to the electrons only having one path to flow through. The current will be the same at every section of the circuit, but the voltage each component receives depends on how large its respective resistance is. The larger the resistance, the larger the portion of the voltage that it will receive. Parallel circuits, in a way, are the opposite of series circuits. Parallel circuits simply refer to the current splitting off at a junction of two or more points. These junctions are called nodes. Each branch will have the same potential difference across it, however the current will be different. Current and resistance have an inverse relationship. This means the larger the resistance of a branch, the smaller the current. Impedance is simply the combination of resistance and reactance. Reactance varies with frequency. The formula XC is how to calculate a capacitor's reactance. XL is how to calculate an inductor's reactance. The last formula is how to combine resistors, inductors and capacitors. Complex numbers are used to represent these components, justifying why there are Z and J variables in the equation. Often in circuits, there are several of the one component. Therefore, being able to add up the components when calculating impedance is essential. Resistors and inductors in series are simply added up by summing the individual components. In parallel, however, the inverses must be summed up and then the inverse of the sums must be taken. For capacitors, it is the opposite process. AC is very much the same as DC in the idea that the theories still hold true. I have listed some common theories that can be applied in AC circuits. These are Ohm's law, nodal analysis, Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Thanks for watching.